So I was going to make a guide to spotting Instagram cheats as a step-by-step -step PowerPoint. As you can see, I've started it here, but it all got a bit too complicated. So I thought I'd turn it into an audio video where people have to listen to my voice, hear me talk through it. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but who knows, let's see. So this is a guide to how to spot Instagram cheats. I've called it a lightning fast guide, but we'll see how fast we go. Um, so I guess first, what's an Instagram cheat? Well, an Instagram cheat is someone who uses a bot or a similar program to enhance their following artificially. Um, they turn on this bot on to their account and it follows, unfollows, likes, comments, etc, etc, etc. Now, here we've got an Instagram shot from my small account. Um, typical picture, Barbican Center, something I take photos of a lot, I'm told. And then we scroll down to the comments, full of spam. I don't know any of these people. Uh, one in particular, on point with the little hand symbol, which is great. So what you can do if you follow that person, which I did shortly after this, is go into your notifications, which are here, uh, click on following, find them. You'll often find that they've been liking a lot of photos, uh, generally all at once. It's normally around seven, eight, something like that. Um, have a look through these photos. I mean, maybe he knows these guys in Brazil, I don't know. Uh, you can't really judge. Maybe he likes the Scoochie competition, I don't know. Again, you can't really judge. But scroll down and you see a few more comments. It's the same comment repeated again, on point, again with a little hand. Here's another one of a restaurant, on point, again with a little hand. Uh, a few more. The hand three times, bit of a classic. Such a good shot. Hand, he does like that hand. Um, it's these kind of inane comments that are just indicative of a spam account. Of course, just going through this, you can't necessarily tell, as I found out today, by accusing someone of spamming me who, turns out, wasn't. They just talk like this a lot. Um, but to give you a bit more of a background into the bots, I actually signed up for one the other week, not on my account, but on a second account I run, which has only about 150 followers. Uh, I ran it for three days, and here it is. It's called Instagress or something similar. Um, over those three days, it... Chucked out 1400 likes, 1300 likes, whatever, 400 comments, 530 followers, and then it unfollowed 400, 519 people. I don't know what's wrong with me in numbers today. Anyway, it's a lot of activity that I had nothing whatsoever to do with. None of that is me. It's all an automated system. It got me about 30 new followers, which doesn't sound like much, but the account only has 150 followers, so that's what, 20% in three days? That's not too bad. Um, a few other people have covered this stuff before. Bloomberg did a piece last year, which was very good, Confessions of an Instagram Influencer. Um, they had a bot running on this guy here, his account, and it was spewing out 1,000 to 1,200 interactions a day. It was about 30,000 a month. That just gives you an indication of the level that these bots go to in order to build a big following, and he definitely built a big following. Um, I mean, you can see this if you delve into people's stats, and this is where we come to what this long rambling presentation is actually about. Uh, here's some stats from that same account that spammed me. Um, the stats at the top are the people following him, up from 10,000 back in May 2016 to almost 40,000 in April. And then these are his follow-on-follow -follow rates. So as you can see, yeah, fairly up and down around the... 1,500 mark, and then all of a sudden up, and then down, and then up, and then down, blah, 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 blah. The idea behind this, of course, is you follow people, they follow you back, and then you unfollow them. It gives you that nice ratio of a high number of people following you, and you're not following anyone. It makes you look important. Um, where did I get these stats from? That's what people keep asking me. I use a website called Social Blade. Here we go, Social Blade. So, go to socialblade.com, drop down to Instagram, type someone's name in. I type in mine probably need to hit return and then we wait and there we go gives you a nice overview I don't know what this ranking means mine's poor clearly D minus uh, click detailed stats this one here and scroll down 
Now here you have a day by day breakdown of followers and who that account is following. So as you can see from here, I've had some fairly bad days. I had a pretty good day. Uh, although again, that looks like bot activity, 12 people follow me and then 11 unfollow me the next day. These are the people I've been following. Fairly typical pattern, I guess, finding one or two interesting people every day and following them. And then you come down here and you can see these graphs just like the graphs I showed you in the presentation. You've got the people following me, you've got the people I follow. Fairly standard smooth curve on this middle one here. I mean, I, you know, following, I unfollowed a few people, well that's like four, etc, etc. If we go back, compare that to this guy, that's quite a different story. Um, and you can see this for a lot of accounts particularly when you find people with big numbers. Um, that's not saying everyone with a big number is doing this, it's just a lot of them are. Uh, and obviously Social Blade now gives you that tool where, let's go back to it, you can drop in anyone's name and you can pick up and have a look at these patterns. Now, here's a few more that I've picked up. Again, I've blocked the name out because I don't want to name and shame people necessarily. This is a particular favourite of mine, mainly because of this giant spike. I mean, this is like 2,000. 2,000 people followed and unfollowed in the space of four days. And actually it reflects really nicely in the graph above. Now it doesn't look the same, but obviously the scales are different. And here you can see that's about a gain of 2,000. So this guy's followed 2,000 people, unfollowed them again, and about 2,000 have stuck around. Now, I mean, that's just the way of growing your account. And you can see this guy is trying to get to the 50,000 mark. I don't know what he did here. Maybe he ran a competition. Maybe he bought a load of followers. I don't know. I can't really judge on that. But if you notice, once he hits 50,000, he stops and it levels out. And this is a pattern you can see with a lot of them, actually. Um, you'll see this kind of activity and then they'll stop for a while and then you'll see it again. The reason for that, I would argue, is that kind of taps into the very reason that they cheat in the first place. And the reason they cheat is because they want the following, but they don't have the content to earn them that following so they want a quick fix solution and when they stop doing it they lose followers because the content they're producing isn't really of interest to the people who followed them the people who followed them basically did it as a follow back because the person showed interest in them and they wanted to repay the compliment favor whatever so back to the more detailed statistics this is another account but you can see here every day massive follow massive unfollow massive follow massive unfollow this is what this account is doing uh, the bots doing this for them and then you can see this in the corresponding followers chart so they're gaining followers every time they do it every day they do it they're gaining followers so you can see how it works let's go back to that account my favorite again and let's look at this end bit here where it levels out now we see this immediate decline, that's probably because a load of people entered a competition, I'm going to say, and then immediately unfollowed. Or, if perhaps these were bought followers, Instagram killed off a load of the bots, uh, the spam accounts that were part of that bought follower package. But even if they did or they didn't, they're still getting this decline in here. And then, again, go back to those deep statistics and you can see it this is that account and this is for the same period this is March and every day losing followers losing followers losing followers losing followers of course apart from this day where I gained a lot of followers but I'm guessing that's around this mark here um, and this is the reality you're dealing with you're dealing with people who aren't producing content that's good enough to hold an audience and that audience is losing and losing and losing uh, and it's getting close to that 50,000 mark and I'm going to keep my eye on this person but I'm sure that once they get below 50,000 bang it will go back up again and they'll start back on this pattern of follow and follow follow and follow follow and follow and if you go back as we did scroll 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 to the notifications you will see them if you follow them. They'll be liking pictures. If you click on those pictures, they'll be commenting. It will be a name rubbish like this. On point, on point, nice, I don't know, nice watch or someone else, but, you know, nice shot, whatever, three fingers, that kind of thing is, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I guess, and I hope that that's been helpful for people, um, I'll just do a very, very quick recap of Social Blade. Here we go. Here's Social Blade. Let's go back to the homepage. Go on socialblade.com. It always starts with YouTube. I don't know why. I presume you can do similar stats on YouTube. I haven't tried that yet. 
maybe I will next. Maybe that'll be my next crusade. Um, type in someone's name. I'm just typing in mine. I don't cheat, clearly, because I haven't got any followers. Um, and you get this overview page. You click here, detailed stats. Scroll down, and here we go. That's the detailed level, day by day, day by day, day by day. Keep scrolling, and you get to the total followers and the total following. And it's the total following you want to look at. If you're seeing patterns that look like this, look like this. And that's the same one, but look like that. And you're seeing this kind of activity on the following chart. So back up here. Then that's someone who's up to dubious practices. If you're a brand, if you're a marketing agency, you're looking to work with people, this is what you need to do. You need to be checking out these people, making sure they're not doing this and that you're not paying them and rewarding them for their ability to cheat the system as opposed to their ability to produce good content. Anyway, as I said, really hope that's been useful. Um, if I knew what I was doing, I would have our website up here. Uh, oh, there it is. Three Letters Agency, so that's us. Um, there's a couple of us there working hard on influencer marketing and trying to help brands work better with uh, men's lifestyle influencers and avoid the cheats. Hope this has been useful. Come check us out. Um, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel. If we do any more videos, that might be useful. Who knows? Cool. Cheers, guys.